Hi everyone, my name is Noam and I work for at, uh, at GSI Technology. What I'm going to be showing you in the next video is how to install and use the GSI Open Search plugin, which is one of the services that we offer on our uh, Search AI platform. I'm going to be going through the, all the steps um, from beginning to end. Uh, if you are familiar with Open Search, you might want to jump ahead to the configuration process. Uh, but if not, let's, um, let's, let's start. So, first thing I want to do is download OpenSearch. So, download OpenSearch install. I'm going to go into the OpenSearch website, choose the tarball option. I want to change the version to 1.24. Um, let's open the download page and change it to 1.24. And here we are. So this is what I want to download. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And I'm going to stop the video and continue and, and come back once once the installation is, is complete. So I'll be back in just a while. Okay, so our installation has completed. We have OpenSearch on our uh, computer. Next, I want to access the GSI GitHub account where I can see the similarity plugin and download that as well. And here we are. So we are done with the first stage. Next, what I did is I moved both the similarity plugin and the download, the open download to uh, just a file called open search installation, just for it to be more convenient for us. Uh, okay, great. Uh, moving back to the website, the OpenSearch website. Let's get rid of those two. What I need to do is unzip the file. So I'm going to copy that and then open a new terminal, navigate to where I have both the plugin and the, um, the OpenSearch installed as in downloaded to. I'm going to unzip the folder and we're in and we can see all the different files and folders so I'm happy and we can move on to the next stage. The next stage would be to open the open search folder. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do it here because it's, it's a bit easier to see but uh, config and then open search YAML um, and what you can see here is a commented file, a commented YAML file, uh, with all the different uh, configuration that 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 you know the default configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my own file into here, which is basically the same file I just uncommented uh, the lines that are, I'm interested in, in, in having uncommented. So you can just take a look at, at what I have here, and then down the bottom I have the security um, settings, and then Finally, the two most important lines which you need to add to the file are GSI service host and GSI search host. And here I've got a server. I'm going to change it to, change it to the server that I have um, been given from GSI. So that is 1.92.168.42.210. Again, this server may be different to any one of you depending on what server you got. So just know to put in the correct server. So adding two lines to the YAML file, saving and done. Next would be to move back to our, our terminal. And I want to, let's just move back to the main folder and then I wanna um, access my similarity plugin. So I'm sudo mc and then click on my plugin and I wanna look for the plugin security policy. Here it is, I'm going to edit it and then you know, minus A to access the insertion mode. Let me just add these two lines. Just make sure that your indentation is correct because it's super important. So permission, um, oops, java.io file permission. And then I've got to add um, in basically my, um, my local name. So that would be, well, I forgot that slash slash home slash and sports and then um, just you know dot aws whoops again dot aw 
s uh, slash credentials and I'm going to give it again reading permissions that's the first line second line would be very similar permission java.io file permission and then again home just you know just the full path W there and dot AWS and then here I've got I want to write config config and again give it reading permissions and I am done so let's just go ahead and save that so escape and then I want to WQ and save this file exit get rid of that and then exit and I am done with um, the configuration. So that's all, all, all I need to add. So I've got to add two lines into the YAML file, two, add, two lines into the plugin security file, and, and that's it. So the next stage would be to go back to the browser, and I want to install a plugin. Install OpenSearch plugin, which is, you know, as I would install any, any plugin. So install a plugin, and I'm going to use this option because um, the similar plugin is, is a zip file. So copy that. And I want to move into my folder, into the bin folder, and then I want to write, let's just get rid of that. And here I want to give it a full path uh, of where my similarity plugin is. So I'm just going to go file uh, slash 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 and then home. Just, you know, just, just the full path where it was. I'm missing a slash here. Um, so nothing special here. Um, open search installation, and then I want to give it similarity plugin dot zip, and go ahead and install the plugin. I'll give it a yes, and if I move back to the plugins folder, I can see all the plugins listed uh, in Open Search, which and one of them is GSI Can N, which is what we just did, it's installed right now. Okay, perfect. Last stage would be to install OpenSearch. So again, back to the browser, I can see the exact command, which is OpenSearch install, and I'm just gonna copy it. And there we are. So the process has started. And let's just give it a second, and there we are. So you can see that once, you can see this line down the bottom, the on complete, uh, line with you, you, you can see that we've connected successfully to the server that we've given it, which is you know 42.210, and we are all ready to start. Um, so, what, what we have now is our open search cluster is up with our plugin, and the last stage would be to uh, access, um, uh, access the GSI plugin web app. Uh, so, so, you might not need to access it through a proxy, you might be able to access it directly. Uh, I'm just going to show the, the more complicated option with the proxy, so I'm just going to pause the video for a second and create the proxy. Okay, so let me get rid of this and get rid of this, and then I want to open up just to show you what, what I have in my proxy, which is again a very simple proxy. So I'm pretty much directing the traffic from um, um, anything that is accessed through port, port 38 I'm going to send to um, to the server that uh, I've been allocated. So again, this is the same server that I've configured in my OpenSearch YAML file. So that's that. And then the second file, the second, whoops, cat. The second uh, file is just, you know, I, I'm pretty much creating a, a Docker container um, that would just act as my proxy. So um, let's go ahead and run that. And as I can see, we've got whoops, we've got the Docker, the Nginx proxy up and running. And all I gotta do is go back to my browser and access the web app at 3080. Okay, so here we are. Um, we have we can see the, the login screen. And what you need to enter here is the allocation ID 
that you've been given by us. So that's the that's the allocation ID that, that I have. Click login and go into the plugin settings tab and into the advanced settings. And I want to have all the data saved on my S3. So to do that, I'm gonna go into my Amazon account, create a new bucket. I'm gonna call it open search primary bucket. That doesn't really matter. Um, the region that I want to work in, I just use all the default uh, the default uh, configuration. And just go ahead and create the bucket. And there we are. So what I need to do is basically plug in my Amazon account uh, secret key and access key. The region, which is um, US West 1, and then I will see a list of all the buckets that I have and open to a primary bucket. Here we are. Click apply and that's it. We're ready to go. That's the whole uh, that's the whole deal. The next uh, next video I'll show you how to index your data and how to upload it onto the APU.